Okay, Raider Man at the controls. This is going to be a uh, bug hunting vid in regards to the Cosmos booster in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, theoretically, I should be able to put a ton's worth of weight in terms of payload into orbit just fine. The booster respect for it, yes. Problem. Not managing to seal the deal, as it were. Not easily, and with way too little fuel in the tank. Way, way less than I'm happy with in, in terms of uh, surplus fuel. Like the last couple of launches, I tend to end up with uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 units of fuel in the second stage booster. Which, I can tell you right now, if I did a, if I did a proper full-on uh, CSM launch, cruise service module launch, 30 units of fuel, not enough to, to deorbit that final stage booster. Nowhere near enough. That said, this is not a crewed vehicle. This is a uh, small payload only. So I've done everything from strip out uh, larger than I really realistically needed monoprop tanks to uh, extraneous hardware. Next, uh, Next steps on the bug hunting list for this stack is uh, I end up stripping out the components that I actually do need. So, what the, the purpose of this video is to document the typical uh, ascent profile that I aim for with this stack. Everything from the VAB to fully in, into orbit. The changes that I have made to the stack since I since I spe since I listed the specific the component specifications on the uh, KSP forums, just a minor change, adding a uh, separator motors to the uh, to the first stage to push the booster away, the first stage booster. I will be adding another set to the second stage to uh, help push it away as well and resetting the staging. Okay. I found that this actually does help, at least as far as stage separation goes. As I've had a couple of instances where I've staged, and because my second because my second stage booster has been in the same staging group as the separators, immediately blown up my first stage with the exhaust blown from the second stage. Simple fix. This one does not have any uh, fins on it because it doesn't need it. It's stable enough that it just doesn't need them. Okay, check my staging. Alright, looks good. Excuse me. All right, throttles firewall. Two, one, and fire away. And I'm going to throttle down a bit. Try and stretch my fuel as long as I can. A 
Okay, and uh, unrelated to the current matter at hand thought just occurred to me, these would actually make good liquid fuel boosters for uh, some of the larger stacks I've played with. <clears throat> Final push to 200 meters, and then throttle down and pitch over. Yep, on the 70 line. Whoa! What was that, rocket? I had a bit of lateral wobble there, and I don't know why. Okay, I don't know what these little puffs are supposed to be for, but I've been seeing that uh, since the introduction of these parts. Alright, staging. I'm going to use my monoprop to give me a bit of a boost. It's what I had to do the last two launches with this stack. So that's uh, typical behavior at this point. This is what I'm talking about. This is not good.
Okay, see? This is too low. Not enough. Okay, pay attention to the fuel gauge. Like, that's not enough for a proper deorbit. Proper deorbit of a spent stage in my, uh, in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, does not involve relying on the monoprop to get the work done. Like, there needs to be a, I don't know, a holdout reserve of fuel or something on the second stage for deorbiting purposes, or I don't know. Maybe I'm just launching the darn thing wrong. I will admit that much, it is possible. Anyways... What we have here is the relay satellite. This is what it this is like the smallest thing I've put up on any booster. So yeah, I should not be I should not shouldn't be fighting the booster to get this thing up, but So be it. Guess that's just the way it is. Anyways, whilst that wobble during the ascent is not typical of, uh, of, of my launch profile, that is more or less a straight up typical launch. So if uh, you could clue me as to what exactly I'm screwing up, I'd be happy. <laughs> 